Hey guys, it's Tyler from Roller Man Gaming here. More for the X challenges in the Legacy Collection 1. So we're at stage 3, challenge 3, I should say. Spark Mandrel from X1 and Bubble Crab again from X2. Interesting pairing. We're at Spark Mandrel stage. So I'm going to pull out the Shotgun Ice because that is his weakness. Because Spark Mandrel is actually kind of tough normally. If you do do it without his weakness but the nice thing is is if you hit him with his weakness it freezes him and you, you can sh you don't have to directly hit him because uh, if you hit the shot the shotgun ice it'll break off and hit the wall and break into small pieces making it easy so you can get him in a pretty good loop I'll show you the charge version in a second I didn't I forgot how much I don't really like the charge version because it's just a slight kind of floor and if you notice the little wires here at the top, Spark Mandrel can climb. Oh crap, give him his little water effect. It's not as annoying as if you were fighting him in his hip territory where there's spikes at the top. Yeah, you don't like that plasma shot, do you, Bubble Crab? Shotgun Ice doesn't really do much to him if I'm mistaken. Neither do my other weapons, so... The plasma shot it is. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You didn't like that, did you? Come on. One more plasma shot should do it. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh crab down for the second time. Yeah, sometimes they reuse Mavericks. You'll see reused ones in the Volume 2 challenges as well. Some of them are the same and some are different. Alrighty, so now we have Cyber Peacock from X4 and Tunnel Rhino from X3. Both Mavericks I have beaten before. In their proper games. I okay. Uh, Tom Ryan knows it's the acid weapon, which I don't have. I don't, but the Skyver weapon, I find, actually does quite a well. Spyro Pegasus and uh, Cyber Peacock's is Soul Body, if I'm not mistaken. The only problem with Skyver's weapon is it aims upwards. So let's do a charge shot. If I can charge it. So that's handy. When Tunnel Rhino goes all funky colored like that, he can't damage him. rid of Tunnel Rhino first because Cyber Peacock's not too tough so I find Tunnel Rhino a lot harder oh he ran into the plasma shot which is not enough there get some health back thank you Cyber Peacock Stand there and take the hit. He's got his aiming laser locked on me. So he can hit me. At this point, it's a battle of endurance and I can win. Especially with the plasma shot there. Booyah! That's round two. Now the final round. Dr. Doppler from X3. And the God at Karma machine on there. Uh, both I've never really fought till this. Uh, the other one is the God of Karma is a fused gym between Bit and Bite. Two characters in X3. 
I want to take him out first. Not because he's harder, per se. Dr. Doppler is more annoying. It's just harder to fight Doppler if you're trying to fight both. Because Dr. Doppler has a nasty little gimmick. See that static shield there? If I hit him when he does that, he takes, he heals anything. His weakness is Toxic Seahorse as a weapon, the poison weapon, max 3, and God of Karma here is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Race Flash. Is his weak? I'm not even bother trying to do damage to Dr. Daphne. I don't know why I have speed. Oh, because I think because it's just quick and I can do a shot off. That's why I have that there. Dang. Well timed plasma shot there. As soon as I notice the shield's gone, I do another plasma shot. Two gone in the hole there. Yeah, Doctor Doppler's annoying one to fight. Cause you actually have to take time and stuff like that. I want to end the fight now. He's almost done. No good old plasma shot. Should be dead. There. Ding. Applauding high score. Booyah. So, alrighty. That's the first three of nine done. See y'all next time. I'd like to hear before I see, before I go here, leave a comment in the section below. What weapons did you use, and if, if you've done this yet, and what what you like to use, and try it out. See y'all next time. Bye.